Ms. Roberts has been given new collaborative seating that allows for more student-to-student interaction. Along with the new collaborative seating, she also has a new small group table provided from the county. Small group instruction allows her to provide more effective feedback and conduct small group instruction. While she is completing small groups to work on various skills needed for success on the AP U.S. History exam and for skills often assessed on the ACT, students complete individual and group assignments that reflect a blended learning environment. Her classroom is often organized chaos where students are doing the learning and she has found helping students better their writing and analytical skills. The new seating arrangement does give students time to socialize, but she often hears metacognitive conversations. Students talk about their learning and help others when needed. All right. Um, who wants to come to small group first to rewrite those SAQs? <laughs> Ellie? <laughs> Lily? <laughs> They're not going to take us long. Let me get them and they'll come to you, okay? Yeah, I can take all y'all. And then I can take one more. What was all that stuff before all the branch petition? Uh, like, um, the tax. Taxes. Okay, what was the colonial reaction to taxes? Anger. Anger. Yes. Sad face. Yeah. Mean, mad face. Mad face. Yeah. No, that's not it. Yeah, Through this new setup, do you believe that you have a better relationship with your peers and has it affected the way you learn in any way? Uh, I think it has because I'm working with a group of people and not individually and I feel like I work better with others because they help me understand more. Yeah. Are you able to focus more on your work or do you feel like this new setup distracts you? Um, most definitely I can focus on my work more and stay more consistent. You know, my peers, if I'm playing on the games, uh, on the computer, they tell me get, you know, get back to work, get on task, you know, got to keep my grades up and all that. Do you listen more to your classmates when they tell you to stop playing games or would you listen to the teacher more? Most definitely my classmates because they got that, you know, positive peer pressure and when it comes to people your age, you're more worried about what they think about you more than an adult. Are you able to do the same thing they do for you, such as like telling them to focus on their work? Yeah, especially when I'm having my good days where I'm locked in and focused, yeah, I also my peers to uh, get back on task. What are the benefits of a of small group in a high school setting? Um, I think benefits are you get more like one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teacher and sometimes like working with a few other students you can like collaborate more and you can like kind of like get a sense of what everybody else is thinking it kind of helps you like gather your thoughts too, like be able to collaborate with other people and the teacher. Okay, like, so all the who, would, who wrote that Olive Branch petition? Uh, maybe Hamilton. Yeah. Mass. It was a group. It was written at a group. What group was it written at? A convention. It was. It was a convention. What convention? The Hart. No, not Hartford. Nope. It was the something. The first continental. Continental. First continental congress. Do you prefer to do small group? Yes, I like small group better than like her lecturing at the board and like all of us. Like the whole class is uh, one time doing something, I'd rather do it in small group. What would you say are the benefits of small group in a high school setting? Um, I feel like small group, we all have an opportunity to hear other people's opinions about what's going on. And I feel like it's an opportunity to kind of understand where everybody else is coming from in the prompt. Do you feel as it's helped you learn more? I think it does. I think Ms. Roberts' opinions and hearing everybody, Ms. Roberts' opinions on everybody else's work helps us learn to where we went wrong on our work. Do you prefer a small group over her standing at the board and teaching? Yes, because as small group, it's smaller, so she's not like, we can ask more questions, things like that. Do you feel like you've learned more about your students and the way they work through the new setup? I do, because when I bring them into small group, I get to hear from them independently, and so I get to learn about them, and I get to hear some of the things that they're struggling with on a more individual basis. I get to provide feedback much quicker and on an individual level, so I learn about them that way, but I also get to hear from people that are not as comfortable speaking up in a whole group. Do you feel like this new setup has changed the way you teach your students? I do. I think I'm more laid back in this setup because it's not... My lesson plan no longer is part A, part B, part C. I have a lot of different parts going on at one time. I had to get used to organized chaos. It gets loud. There's people moving. 
we don't always know if someone is actually doing their work. So it's given a lot of a lot of responsibility off of me and put it on my students. They're in charge of their own learning this way. I'm just really here as their facilitator. And then they come to me when they have challenges. So I find with this setup, they actually are willing and want to come to small group. They have to wait their turn. And how would you say collaboration planning has changed for you? With other teachers or with my students? With your students. With my students, I think that I ask them more often for feedback about assignments, if they like a particular assignment, if they think that assignment is useless. Um, we listened to a podcast that some thought was really boring and others were like, hey, that's a really cool podcast. Can we do more of those? So I get to tailor lessons more to what my students want from me as their teacher and what interests them and how they like to learn. And due to all the collaboration, collaboration that's happening in the classroom, when do you determine to give like individual assessments to your students? Well, I give individual assessments just like I would if I was doing whole group instruction every single day. Um, I let them know when those deadlines are approaching. And again, they're in charge of their learning with this format. I'm just here to facilitate. So they get to make that choice and it teaches them some soft skills like personal responsibility and time management. So they know that those dates are looming and it's up to them to do it. And I'm here to help if they need it. And do you feel like other teachers should start getting this new setup? I do think that other teachers should start getting this new setup. I don't think it's for everyone, um, but I do think that it allows us to talk to our students on a more one-on-one -on -one basis, understand what they're thinking, because our students are amazing here at Calera High School. And when your expectations are high, they soar to the occasion.